The FBI getting a black eye is not the agents. It's not the guys that work there and the girls that work there and the ladies that work there. You know, it's the people that run the organization for whatever reason mm -hmm. did what they did. Well, that was James Kallstrom on this broadcast two nights ago. He's the former assistant director in charge at the FBI, and he was defending the agents who are reportedly pushing to dig deeper into whether there's any evidence of corruption at the Clinton Foundation. Since then, Mr. Kallstrom has taken some heat for those remarks, and he's back with us tonight on that and all we've learned about this story in the last few days. Great to see you, Jim. Thanks for being back. Nice to be here. So the Daily Beast is suggesting that you walked that back, that you, ha you haven't really been in touch with the agents investigating Hillary Clinton's email scandal, and that you are something less than an accurate spokesperson for these disgruntled FBI agents. <laughs> well, they can write what they want. Um, I never did claim I talked to the actual agents. I would never do that. I would never call up people that were investigating something and even put them on the spot. I wouldn't do that. But I've talked to hundreds and hundreds of people in the FBI, mostly retired people and some people that are currently on the job that are not directly involved, but, you know, it's a small organization. Mm -hmm. You know, they know what's going on. Mm -hmm. And uh, the agents are furious, and I haven't walked anything back. I didn't walk anything up that deserved to be walked back. <laughs> so so uh, I don't know what they're talking it's about. Been no walking. No, uh, no walking. Let me pick up where Richard Saccharides left off. He's there's a distinction between an inquiry and an investigation, right? And so you tell me whether there is, in fact, an inquiry underway and that the FBI agents who have been wanting to pursue it would like it to graduate into something more serious. Yeah. Well, what I'm told by people that aren't directly in the know, but I mean the scuttlebutt in the agency, is that, of course, there's an investigation underway. I mean, the director talked about that. He said he's reopening the investigation. Mm -hmm. I think were his but words. But we're talking about the Clinton Foundation. Oh, the Clinton Foundation. Well... Uh, you know, the Department of Justice shut this down. You know, Megan, what I've said over and over again is there really hasn't been an FBI investigation yet. There was never a grand jury impaneled mm -hmm. in the investigation to begin with. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they now have... On, on either had, side. Yeah, they, they, they had... Email no, right, or exactly. The Foundation. So they had no way to compel anything. They had no subpoena power. They had no search warrants. They had nothing. Yep. So when Jim Comey s spoke there in July about, you know, we've done all this meticulous investigation... It was a hollow investigation, in my view. I mean, I've never seen a major criminal investigation without a grand jury. What, what do so, you make, though? Of, so we had that, the email investigation that we've been discussing right. for, for weeks and months now. And then last night it came out, Catherine Herridge has been reporting that there is a separate probe into Future the Clinton Reflect, Foundation yeah, for yeah. months and months. Yeah. And people have denied it, but she reported it long ago. Now it comes out that there's a split, that FBI agents have been looking into the Clinton Foundation who believe there's some there there, and he want, they want to take this full bore. Right. And some higher-ups at the FBI and some higher-ups at Justice say, no, you don't have it. It's, you got hearsay. You got stuff from the Peter Schweitzer book. It isn't good enough. What are you hearing? You know, all crops grow from little things, right? I mean, the notion that the FBI would have everything at once. Of course that they don't have everything at once. Of course the agents have, in their view, probable cause to look further. I mean, that's how these investigations happen. Mm -hmm. But you can't do that without, you know, subpoenas and warrants. And the Attorney General of the United States is not supporting any of these things. Is that shocking? It's not shocking to me. I what mean, there's no that? way the they're going to indict anybody in this administration. The reporting is no that, uh, obviously, Loretta Lynch is yeah. believed to be sympathetic toward Hillary Clinton. We've, we've seen yeah. reporting suggesting that, at yeah. least. Um, you know, she, she would deny that. But there's other reporting saying that a lot of these agents in the, within the FBI are very pro-Trump. There was some reporting saying that it's effectively Trump land. That one, a piece in the Guardian says one current agent describes the bureau as Trump land, and uh, they're suggesting one agent told the publication that Clinton is considered the Antichrist personified. Do you believe that? I don't think it's Trump land, but I think it's people that are sick and tired of the lack of the rule of law being brought forward and due process being brought forward. And they're frustrated that they cannot conduct investigations properly. And the Department of Justice is stonewalling at every turn. I mean, just look at the WikiLeaks stuff. I mean, it's clear. It's very clear what's going on. And it's not going to change. It's not going to change till there's a different president. Mm -hmm. And if Hillary Clinton's the president, that's not going to change. And we're going to have a constitutional tussle, big time. Are you surprised <laughs> to see FBI agents leaking like this? I, I don't remember. Well, I, you know, I, 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 I don't know for a fact that they're leaking, but someone, someone's telling stuff to, to people. Yeah. Well, they're very, very frustrated. They see the, the whole due process thing going down the tubes. The whole, you know, we're, we're a nation of laws. We do things... Uh, to protect the little guy, the big guy, 
You know, we don't take sides in politics. We never have. I never did. Mm -hmm. I never did. I never thought of anything about politics so in my investigation. you think they perceive the agency or some at justice as taking sides? Without question, that's what's happening. I mean, you'd have to be a... You'd have to be deaf, dumb, and blind not to see that. Of course that's what's happening. I mean, just look at what's in the public domain. I mean, it's, look at the stuff that they left on the table. Top secret code word documents. You know, back in the old days, you got shot with a firing squad for that stuff? Mm -hmm. And even today, you should go to Leavenworth for 20, 30 years. That's what happens. They left on the table, you know, obstruction of justice, destruction of evidence. I mean, clearly. Congress gives them a letter, gives them a subpoena. What do they do two, two weeks later or whatever it is? They destroy it all. Yeah, it was the guy who worked for the company. Oh, yeah, like sure it, it is. Yeah, right, degrees. right. Yeah. And the lawyers don't even have clearances, and here they have exposure to these classified documents. And her lawyers. And, and, you know, and obstruction of justice, perjury, the, the, the violations of the Federal Records Act. It goes on and on and on and on. That's all left on the table. Mm -hmm. Well, James Comey, according to many, is a straight shooter. He did not see the evidence there, and he's reared his head again, saying, now I do want to take another look, well, so we'll I, see. We'll he's, see. He's, having, he's had an awakening, awakening, <laughs> and God, God bless him for that. <laughs> yeah. Great to see you, Jim. Yeah, good to be here. <laughs> an awakening.